Okay, so first I start off with washing her hair with the Bella B Be Gone Cradle Cap Shampoo. And I have her dad hold her um, while I wash her hair so it's easier for me. Just make sure the soap is all lathered up on her head. So I take the blue part of the comb and I just gently rub her scalp just to loosen any of the flakes or cradle cap and that's in her head. Now I've been using this shampoo for a couple weeks now so her cradle cap is just about gone. She really doesn't have any left in her hair. She has it like just at the top a little bit in the front around her edges. So now I just take the white part of the comb and gently just run it through her hair to get any flakes that um, might still be in her hair, which is not a lot because like I said, like it's pretty much gone. It's just at the top, like right where I'm combing right now. It's just a little bit left right there. Now her cradle cap wasn't severe. It wasn't bad, but she did have it in a few places and I just wanted to get rid of it. So I decided to give this shampoo a try. I read a lot of reviews of it. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'll put the link to it in the description box if you want to give it a try as well. So you just want to make sure you're very thorough in combing um, out her hair or your child's hair. And just, you know, make sure you're getting all the flakes out and rinse it, the comb off as you go. So I started seeing improvement like after like about a week or two, but I still continue to use the shampoo. Now it's time to rinse. I make sure the water is not too hot and not too cold and just rinse her little head off. Now when I'm finished, this is what her hair usually looks like. Um, As you can see, she doesn't really have any flakes in her hair because like I said, her cradle cap is pretty much gone. But I just let her hair air dry. Now it's time to get cleaned up. So usually after I wash her hair, I'll give her a bath in her baby tub. But I decided to put her in the shower with me because I wanted it to be quicker. Plus, I didn't want her to be cold. And I didn't want her to be too fussy. I wanted her to be calm. So I just had her on my chest in the shower. So this is her hair when it's air dried. Ava started getting a little fussy, so I had to nurse her while her hair finished drying. So now this is her after her hair has been washed and she's nice and lotioned down and dressed. I like to put um, a little hat on her hair just to keep her warm and make sure her hair is dried all the way. Now this is the aftermath. She's drowsy now. I guess she feels good after her little shower. She loves the shower, by the way, too. So I kind of just hold her and rub her until she falls asleep. So I use her boppy pillow to kind of prop her up and so she's comfortable while she's sleeping. And then I just part her hair in different sections. And I use an older um, container to oil her scalp because it has the little tip on it. But So I use the African's um, herbal oil and I pour it inside that bottle. I just take it and put a couple drops. You don't want to put too much. You know, their head is really tiny and they don't have that much hair. And I just rub it in with my finger. I just make sure I rub it in her scalp real good and on her hair so her hair is not dry. I just continue parting her hair down to the back of her head. And I just do the same thing all over her whole head. And then I just comb it all through so it runs through her whole hair and everything. So here I'm just showing her scalp. Um, it's not really no flakes and it's a little bit oil, but I'll show you what I do at the end to get the excess oil off. So here I'm just showing you like the little bit amount of flakes that's on the comb. Because, like I said, 
her cradle cap is basically gone but i like to comb it with the big side first i guess you can call it the big side and then i go back with the tiny side and kind of comb through just to get any flakes that are still left on her hair or on her scalp now when i'm finished i just take a washcloth and a wet washcloth and i just rub it all over her head to kind of get the extra oil off of her head and like around her ears and neck and her edges and everything and to kind of get some of the flakes any flakes that's on there that's left on there now she started waking up she usually stays asleep throughout this whole process so this is the final look. I like to put a baby bonnet on her hair just to keep her hair nice and moisturized and lock in all the moisture. And, you know, I want her head to be touching something soft, not always touching cotton and stuff because that's how baby's hair breaks off. And this is what her hair looks like after it's like moisturized and her bonnet's been on for a while. She was a little fussy at this point, so... I just took it off of her and just massaged and rubbed on her scalp and everything because she likes it and it calms her down. So this is the method that I used to remove her cradle cap and it worked for her. So what works for her may not work for your child. And I know everybody has an opinion to everything. Everyone has their own way of doing how they do their things. So... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.